let's take a look at how to use plugins in chat gpt4 i'm inside of chat gpt version 4 and i'm going to go down to my account area click on the ellipsis button from here go to settings in the settings menu select beta features here you'll want to enable plugins once enabled you can close out of the menu hit the drop down menu for gpt4 and go down to plugins currently there is no plugins enabled hit the drop down menu for plugins you can see that i have already loaded three plugins once you get started you'll want to go to the plugin store you will have an alert message that comes up that gives you information about plugins in general again you'll want to make sure that you read over that information understand that third parties create plugins and ChatGPT will send localization information to those plugins. Also, based upon your prompt, it will choose the proper plugin. So for instance, if I have a math-based prompt, odds are Wolfram will be used, or depending upon the other prompts that I put in, ChatGPT will pick, hopefully, the correct plugin. You can see in here, I can go in and sort by new, most popular and all plugins. You can see there's a good selection here already. Now I've already picked three different plugins. So I'm actually going to close out of this and show you that I have a diagramming plugin called Show Me, a curriculum development plugin called Upskiller, and of course Wolfram, which is going to give give you math-based functionality here in ChatGPT. Now that's the one I want to go ahead and try. So I'm going to select Wolfram and enable that plugin. And you can see that a small icon now resides below GPT-4 menu. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. Now I've already selected a prompt for ChatGPT and we're going to go ahead and ask it, what is the minimum distance between Earth and Mars? Now, of course that's variable. So we'll see if it selects the Wolfram plugin. We'll run the prompt and let it kick in it yes so it has selected the wolfram plugin because i'm asking it a math based question it's asked it a couple times and let's see what the answer is all right so it says it this occurs every 26 months as far as the minimum distance and is approximately 54.6 million kilometers all right let's see how it compares i've already done the search for this information in google let's see how it compares 54.6 million kilometers, 54.6 million kilometers. There we go. All right. So this is fantastic. And this is just the start. So hopefully this has helped you out in getting started with plugins in chat GPT. Now, if you want to find out more information about using ChatGPT, please go ahead and take a moment to subscribe and follow and click that bell notification so you know when I come out with a new video. And I will see you in the next one. Oh great, end card duty. It's like you trust me with nothing else around here. But hey, it's not like I'm a highly advanced AI capable of anything more complex. All right, you lovely human viewers, here's the deal. Click that video on your left to watch Josh convert ChatGPT into a PowerPoint deck. Spoiler alert, I'm the real hero of that episode. On the right, you can watch Josh's attempt at using ChatGPT to create a video production plan. And let's not forget that big shiny subscribe button. Give it a click so you can be mildly entertained by Josh's shenanigans, and of course your favorite AI sidekick. But remember folks, I'm the real star here. Until next time, my adoring fans.